Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Coach Undress, and thank you, ladies, for tuning in. So I want to say thank you again for all the support. I'm so appreciative, so grateful, so humbled for being a coach for you all because the stories I've heard, the motivation I've heard, the inspiration I've heard makes me just know that you guys are believing in love. You guys are you guys are strong and you guys are courageous. You guys are fearless to go get what you want. And that's why it inspires me to become a better coach and a better man, to go get you what you want. But it all starts, like I always tell them all, it all starts with self-love. You gotta love yourself before you love someone else. And that's what I always promise them in a the sense that you're gonna come to me with a relationship problem, but I'm, pro I'm promising you personal success. I wanna clear the doubts, clear out the clutter, clear out the insecurities, clear out, clear out the doubts and give you a logical plan and keep you accountable on it, keep you responsible on it. And that way we can focus on that and the love will just complement that. So today we're gonna to talk about signs, eight signs that he's genuinely into you. Things that you need to be open to, things you need to be aware of. And as a man, I like to give you all women an insight of what a man's thinking. And that's what we do, us men coach women, we have other companies that women coach men, but that's when I wanna make sure I give you the information to know what to look out for, these beautiful signs. We're gonna go for four of them, and I have another four on a part two video after this one. Number one, eight signs he's genuinely into you, and it's a very simple but underrated one. He follows through with his agreements, right? He talks the talk and he walks the walk. He just literally, his intentions and his actions match, they meet, and he wants to make sure that it starts in the very beginning I always tell my clients, listen, in the very beginning, you got two things to look out for. There's character, because if that's in question, what are you doing? <laughs> so if your question is character, I got to question your judgment. Let's talk. But if your character's on point and it's solid, and then see he's consistent with that, that's the best foundation in the beginning of a relationship. So if a man follows up with his agreements, follows up with his plans, that's a beautiful sign that he's genuinely into you. All right? Well, number two is... If he can't, how does he explain it? If he has to break plans, how does he explain it? Not flaking, but if he has to break plans after he establishes good character, after he establishes good consistency of that, but if he has to break plans, does he explain himself? Does he really want to go out of his way to make sure you understand that this is an unfortunate situation, that this priority or this emergency popped up and he has to take care of it but can't wait to see you? The way he explains it, shows his genuine approach or a genuine interest in this relationship. All right, so if he just dis if he's dismissive about it or he's like, oh yeah, sorry, I'll call you when I'm done or I'll call you whenever I can. You're like, okay, you know, that's not really fair. I was looking forward to it too. But if he goes out of his way and shows some affection, some compassion to the situation, because not everything's gonna work out perfectly. There is no perfect man or perfect woman, so let's get that out the door. But if he explains himself, that really shows a lot too. Number three. But before we go into number three, again, I would always appreciate your subscription because I want to make sure you're notified for future videos. Hit that bell so you got that notification. Any comments, suggestions, or even recommendations of video topics, I look at all of them, I respond to all of them personally, and I will do a video off your topic. Honestly, again, thank you for all the support. Let's do it. Number three. Signs he's generally interested in you. Hmm. The small things. The small things. He remembers the small things. And not the anniversaries, that's big things. Not the birthdays, that's a, he better remember the birthdays. <laughs> so, uh, that's big, I'm talking about the small things. You know, as in like, let's say, okay, he knows your favorite dessert. You know, for instance, when I go uh, to the market and I'm gonna go see my girlfriend and we're gonna have a, a night in with movies, I know she loves tiramisu, she does. She loves the fresh tiramisu from a specific market, not the everyday kind of tiramisu, but this tiramisu is a lot better than the other ones too, so I get her quality of taste on that. I always make sure I get this wine that she likes, and I always, always make sure I get that tiramisu that she loves. And um, I, I don't get much of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she kind of eats all of it, which I'm not even mad about, as you should, go for it, I love you. But the idea is those small things in that way. Or if you're coming home and you know he has like a long day ahead of him and you bring him a nice cup of coffee, his favorite cup of coffee. Or let's say he's watching a sports game and you know he loves a cold, fresh beer. Something along those lines. If he's doing that for you, maybe not the cold, fresh beer, but you know, the bottle of wine of your choice or let's say 
he remembers your favorite order at Starbucks, or he knows your favorite kind of dessert, or he remembers your night of this show that you can't, you know, The Bachelor's on Mondays. I know you're going to watch it, so I recorded it for you. Um, you know, another story about me and my girlfriend was that we watch it, when we watch a new show, even though the application is on my TV at my home, I don't go out of my way to watch the new episode as much as I want to. I, I don't. And she still doesn't believe me sometimes that I should like, I know you saw the next episode. And I was like, no, I didn't. I swear I, I did it. So I, she knows like, oh, you really didn't watch the new episode. And I was like, no, I didn't. And again, those small things are just showing interest because I want to share that new episode. I want to share those new moments and experiences with her. Those are small, genuine experience, small, genuine moments of him showing interest in you and really likes you. Number four is very interesting, but it's very true because that's who we are as, as, as in nature, as men. We try to protect you. We try to protect you, and I mean it from the smallest to the biggest. And I'll say, let's give you an example. Uh, I'm trying to protect you, whereas, hey, it's going to rain tonight, uh, so make sure you bring your umbrella. He tries to protect you with, hey, uh, on your way to work, the traffic's really bad. There's a car accident, so just plan ahead. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little unfortunate, but the traffic's really backed up. Or the most classic way of protecting you. He's showing he's interested in you. It's cold, so he brings, gives you his jacket. He comforts you. So again, there's also the more extreme sense of safety and security, you know, when you make sure you always protect her in any way in that situation. I always have that funny story. My dad used to always tell me, a man, a gentleman, should be always walking on the outside of the sidewalk. The lady should be walking on the inside. As well, you never let a lady walk over a sewer or a gated, you know, floor, whatever those things, those gated sewers, you know, on the, on the street or on the sidewalk. You never let her walk over. Obviously, it's sturdy. Obviously, it's not going to fall through. But you don't want to take that chance. So that level of protection goes a long way. If he's showing that to you, he's genuinely interested in you. I got part two coming out, so make sure you check that out. And again, if you have any questions or interested in any coaching sessions, coachingwithundress.com. I'm always here to help. See you soon.